What up? CP the Tool Addict back here. Got another tool haul. Not a tool haul. This is a tool review, really. Um, some stuff that I held back. Um, and I just wanted to take some time because I really want to go over what I got here today. Um, the first two items I got over, they've been all over YouTube, so I don't really expect anybody to really get too excited. But I'm going to give these things a shot. See if I really think they're worth all the hype. And that's... Oh, whoops. Let me get these things squared up. You know, toolbox widget. Yeah, toolbox widget. Bam! Toolbox widget. Fancy camera stuff there, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give these things a shot. I opened them up. You've seen them on a hundred other people's videos, so you know I'm jumping on the toolbox widget train. Um, so JRC 54 and uh, you know Russ Belt and all these guys that I don't know who the first one to get them was but shout out to that cat because they look like they're going to be decent but um, I like some of my wrenches, wrench organizers I have right now so I'm not going to be super disappointed if they don't work I think they're alright I will say this let me just go over this right with you right now um, I, the veteran owned part I'm a huge supporter of that um I, i'm not gonna say that the I, these things these probably no matter what i'm pretty sure these things will, are, are gonna work pretty fantastically and i do like the fact that once again they're being made by a veteran owned company here in the states i'm assuming that they're being produced and made here 3d printed or something like that um we don't have any type of um, just says veteran owned business. I don't know where they're being made. Does not say on here. It says lifetime warranty. Um, so kind of a little concerned about that. I don't like the fact when somebody doesn't put on the box, you know, that means they're not proud of what they make. I'm not dogging on them, but, uh, I do like, I do appreciate it when somebody at least says if it's made in Taiwan or made in the USA. Uh... And I could be wrong, maybe it says it on here somewhere, but uh, the fact that they're a veteran-owned business, that means a lot to me. I, I will say this about them, they are a little bit annoying, um, you know, trying to put them together and whatnot, and they kind of, um, you get them stacked out there and try to move them. And I notice they got a little, see how that's, whew, looks like a little ship. Um, that's a little bit concerning to me, but now you gotta try to pick them up and then boop, one falls out. Um, but, you know, get them in the toolbox. Hopefully they flatten out. Not sure what the story is with that. I was under the impression they came with the uh, little tabs up here. So, yeah, there you go. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just they're, 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 they don't set, you know, look at that, they rock. I don't know what happens. You get some wrenches in them, that sets them down, but. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, you know. Um, I'm sure they'll work pretty decent no matter what. Like I said, just me being critical, skeptical. I don't always take everybody's word for something until I see it. That's why I'm making these videos because, you know, I just want to make sure this product, I've been bamboozled a couple times by um, taking other people's word for stuff. And I don't um, expect anybody to take my word for anything. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just here to try to give some good information and help, help you out with the best opinion that I can give you and uh, kind of give you the ins and outs of whatever I can figure out. But on to the big thing that I really want to talk about and this, I'm probably going to give this one, you know, about 10 minutes. So I want to give it some talk time because I feel really good about this um, and I've put some, I've actually tried this out. So um, a company that's a friend of my friend's I don't know how you get to that point, but they uh, they sent this to me, um, asked me to do a review on it, um, and I said I would be glad to do that. They uh, I said I want to pay for it. Um, I will not accept anything free um, on my channel because I don't. I want to give an honest review based off my money, what I spend. Um, so that way, I'm not feeling like I'm biased towards something. You get I don't want somebody to start sending me tools and then you know I start reviewing and, and get 
I don't want that to affect my opinion of something. That's the biggest thing. Um, I've been down that road before, and it's hard for you to be biased, and then you, they put you into a hard spot. You feel guilty if you say something bad, and that's all there is to it. So um, I just want to make sure that there's no hard feelings when I uh, review something, and you know I say, well, this isn't all that it cracked up to be. So nonetheless, let's get on with this. I'll stop jabbering. This is the SK trim clip tool. Um, and this is 100% made in the USA. The box itself, made in the USA. The tools themselves, made in the USA. I'm gonna break these guys out here and we're gonna go over. So they send you this plastic box, they send you a kit, and they send you a little bag of trim clips. And uh, I have not even opened these yet. Um, I have used the tool, but I have not, uh, this one I have not. So this comes with an assortment of your trim clips. The big fat guy, the old classic, you know, in double rivet deal. I don't even know what you call them, the push pin. Um, you know, several different styles. The little guy, the little, the little plastic trim clip. Um, let's see here make sure I got them all that's that's pretty much all the there's a couple nice catch <laughs> caught that one on the way down uh, so yeah we got a couple push pins whoops a couple push pins a um, couple medium tops a couple of big tops and some of these double double pin tools um, now I don't really have a good demo here to, to show you this, but this is the main component of this tool and they, what they do is they give you this one here too. Once again, made in the USA, like such, and the s &K, and the part number is 6640. Um, I purchased this off Amazon to be even more less bias. Um, I believe they're about $89. Um, so, um, I want to be fair to this thing. I have used this before. I am a little bit biased because I do like s &K products and I do want to support them. Um, but, however, um, I have these screwdrivers that I've had since I've been in, um, tech school. And they're okay. They're nothing fancy. But, for a hard handle, they are pretty comfortable. And I think that they are, uh, their longevity is unsurpassed uh i actually would say that these handles last longer than any of my mac or snap on hard handles in fact i don't even think i wore off much of this uh the, the lettering on them um they're pretty durable and they they stay really green so uh but this thing is really cool because it's an indexing head and it says right on here removal for plastic fasteners over only so guys you know, this isn't a pry bar. I understand. Gear wrench has got the adjustable ones. You know, don't buy this thing and think you're going to just bang on it with uh, prying on stuff. That's not how you use this. But if you can see here, it slides underneath these big ones like so very nicely. Um, or that's the medium one. And this is the big headed guy. Once again, slides under there very nicely. Um... Then we got Mr. Double Pin Clip. We slide underneath that one. And we can slide underneath that one. However, this is the cool part. This tool right here is made for this one. If you look at the groove right here, it's made perfectly for these. So let me kind of push this down. You see how that slides in there? Hop, pop this one up. Grab this little fella, slider underneath there, bada bing, bada boom. Love it. Then, you know what else is great about these? These things, um, when you're installing them, we all know that when we take them out, they destroy them. So, um, this one, and these, and these, these, uh, you can see these are pretty thin, but you can see you can get underneath here with these and jam them right out. But instead of using your fingers to push down on them, They've got this little style right here. So that's on the other end of this. So that's pretty cool. Um, I really dig these. Um, 
these uh, trim clip tools, and, I, and I'm and I'm always constantly doing trim clip stuff. So uh, it really, and you can buy these separately. Although although I don't recommend it, but this one is the part number on that one, sixty six forty eight. If you just want this tool, um, and I honestly, this one right here is part number sixty six forty four. Okay, now if you buy the kit, so I believe this tool alone is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, this is the hot daddy, so it's obviously they're going to get their money out of it. Um, if you buy this kit, I like it because it comes in this nice plastic tray, and then you can put all your trim clips plus your trim clip tool in there. Grab it out of there, one, one single deal for $89.00. I think this could be your end-all be-all if you're looking for a trim clip, clip tool that does almost anything. Um, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. I, I actually think this is probably going to be the best. That angle on this thing, I call it the hockey stick. Wing. Poof. I don't know. A little humor there. Um, I, I, that's the only thing. That, I mean, I'm not going to call it the 6648, but I call this the hockey stick trim, trim clip removal, you know. Pow, pow, pow. You know, uh, <laughs> I want to play hockey with it now. I just want to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little kid sometimes, you know. Anyways, um, I think this is a, a phenomenal tool because these 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 uh, trim clips I do deal with quite a bit, especially on GMs. Um, you know, and uh, I, I love the fact that they have designed this to fit in that groove because that is my number one pet peeve right there. I've never have a trim clip tool on. I'm like, why doesn't someone just make one well there it is i use the screwdriver mostly to get that up and then i use another trim clip tool pop pop but uh you know even you could stick this as ah, probably won't work there but you can even push these down even use this tool to push them back down so um and they give you a good variety with an, oh i didn't realize these are two sizes here so this is the bigger one too there's a lot of room in this one this one's got a little bit more room in there but uh, once again, you can see how easily it slides in that little groove there. So um, this is this is an awesome kit. I would say jump on these right away, buy them. I think they've been out for quite a while. Um, like I said, I I've, I actually own another one of these, um, and I've been using it quite a bit. And I don't even think about it. Somebody asked me about it the other day, and they're like, "Dude, that thing's cool. I want that so I can start like prying." stuff apart and i'm like no this is for trim clips don't start taking it out i don't know how durable it is i have not tried it out and seen what it would take for strength but i don't want to break mine because i love it now i have two of them so that way i'm actually going to give the other one to um one of the kids in the shop because he's always doing trim stuff too and he's wanting to do more interior and electrical stuff and and i think this is a great tool so that's my spiel on that one. Part number again, once again, 6640. Um, I've been asked quite a bit about part numbers. Um, I guess I will see if I can get an Amazon store set up. Um, I don't want to get any money from that, so I'm trying to figure out how I can do that where it doesn't, you know, try to pay me. I'm not sure what I could do. Maybe I got a link that you can go to my page and get in my store, and I will try to get that set up because Amazon obviously has a lot of good stuff on it and honestly when it comes to me now i believe that i can get almost anything that anything that i need that's specialized i can get off the tool truck and anything that i want to don't not that i want to buy that's rebranded on the tool truck i can definitely get it off of amazon there's only been a few things that i haven't got or chose not to get off the tool truck because i know they're rebranded but Amazon, to me, is my uh, go-to. My only res reservation about that is, is that Amazon is dicking a lot of smaller companies. Um, once again, I will state my um, expression or my 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 feelings about corporate businesses smoking people. Now, that being said, I'm using I pay for Snap-on. I understand Snap-on's corporate or Max corporate, but their franchisees and their dealers are our local businessmen. Granted, they pay a fee to corporate, but those guys are still local businessmen, so they are within the community. So um, you're going to have that a little bit, but you know, I mean, I'm not giving all my money to Snap-on Corporate. That's the thing. 
<sighs> uh, you know, it's just, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm a small business guy, so I want to support small business. I want to bring back to this country what I remember when I was a kid of going to the local corner gas station and it was Mel's, you know, stop and go and, and uh, everybody knew each other. Um, everybody helped each other out and, you know, that's just, a, that's just a thing, you know, I mean, people who work their asses off to keep these businesses going and people don't understand how hard it is that you have to compete with, you know, places like Walmart and, and, you know, obviously Harbor Freight and stuff like that that are doing their thing. They don't care about the small business. They're out to put everybody out of business. And I believe that's the goal. I mean, when you're a staunch Democratic reporter, uh, supporter and you're feeding the monster, well, you know, I mean, I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I'm just saying some of these people's agenda is a little bit skewed. So you start doing research, you see that. I mean, for Pete's sake, why do you need a $150 million yacht? So, nonetheless, let's. I'll stay out of the political mess there. I uh, don't want to get too wrapped up in that because, quite frankly, I'm content with just doing my thing and uh, trying to bring out this content for you guys. Like I said, this S&K indexing um, head body clip puller um, and then the push-in push rivet puller and punch, uh, this, is, uh, this is awesome. Um, you know, this is, these are really, really probably the top, I would say that these are probably the best trim clip tool removals on the market. Pretty sure this is patented. Um, S&K will probably own the rights to this. Not sure how that works. Maybe they won't, maybe they won't. Somebody's probably going to, if they don't, then you'll see this come out in the tool trucks because this thing is, is massively awesome. Um, I mean this you can literally get into a clip like this pull it back and then pull it up um this thing kicks ass i mean i'm 10 times faster at getting trim clips out with these things so um maybe i'll do a review uh, when i get a car that has a bunch of them i have to pull out inner fenders this is like this is my go-to for inner fenders i mean you can literally go in the inner fender of a car pop 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 you know you just go up there drag it pop 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 there's no other tool that does that none all the rest of them you have to get inside and you know you're fiddling around trying to get a good angle on them and whatnot but this thing you can get in there push on it with this one and pop 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 um it's just i love it and the fact that it indexes so many ways so uh you know like i said hit that like button comment share subscribe ring the bell you want to get them notifications putting out as many tool videos as i can as i can um you know just kind of supporting anybody i can doing what i can and give, bringing you new uh content trying to be different um i understand there's a lot of tool haul videos and all that jazz so i'll try to keep it fresh and interesting as much as possible and if it gets dull and boring you just let me know say hey man spice it up make it spicy make it real spicy and i'll get her done for you Thanks for watching. Love you, kids. Keep on wrenching.